First of all, I'm a Temple grad. TU, represent TU. I got to represent for TU. I actually lived in the dorms one time and long time ago, many moons ago. I actually lived in the dorms and um, I was always coming out, you know what I mean, to go to the bathroom and I kept seeing this guy in a, like a yoga robe. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had like a big robe on, like Yoda or Rocky Balboa. You know, he was so, he was so light skinned. I was like, yo, I can't tell if that's a white or black dude. Years from now, when this is like a really, a, a, just a global phenomenon and you look back and just say, what do these guys do? If, they, if you just sit back sometime in some of our meetings, our creative meetings, you would just be like, wow, these guys are having like a really good time. That's how really good things are done. And then we became friends and one of the things I remember he said to me, which kind of set up the tone for our friendship. When I said, yo, man, every time I come in the hallway, I see you. He said, well, every time I'm in the hallway, that means you're in the hallway. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that's what he said to me. Basically, I met Atif on a set of a student film called The Ultimate Rush. Um, I was forced to ride with him in the car. So he was actually listening to Tupac, and I just mentioned uh, the Me Against the World album was underrated. And, you know, like, like I said earlier, you know, ever since then, I haven't been able to shut him up. <laughs> How I'm Get on Entertainment basically was a concept I uh, came up with about, I would say, back in the late 90s. After reading the book Revelations, I actually came across, um, you know, the word Armageddon. Actually, it's called Armageddo in the book of Revelation. And basically, it just, it's like, uh, means destruction. And basically, it's just kind of like, I like the concept. And since I started getting into entertainment, I wanted to have a company that pretty much specialized in entertainment, but also entertainment that awakened the mind, the projects that pretty much had some kind of social emphasis, you know, on it. So, like I said, my longtime friend here, he became my partner. And Mike, right here, my associate, he's actually associate. He has his own group called Osamo. So basically from there, we've started doing plays, we started doing movies, we, we traveled, and in the process, we also bonded as friends. But our first successful project was The Negro Zone. It's a 30-minute short on the stereotypes of black men. It's a comedy. Submitted for your approval. Three average African-American males about to embark on a normal day. Or are they? <laughs> It's been on cable, it's the 17 film festivals, it's won awards. We're still traveling with it now. In fact, we'll be up and down the East Coast this spring, again, to different uh, colleges, different high schools, um, just spreading the word. With the college tour, we've been going to uh, Cheney University, Lincoln University, um, Virginia Union. We're pretty much going up and down the seaboard, and basically what we do is we show the film and we do a workshop about stereotypes. I want everybody welcome to the stage, and y'all know him by. J to the is A, M to the is A. L this is a new venue almost for filmmaking where you almost have like, you, like you'd have a traveling circus or a traveling uh, zoo or whatever. Uh, we, we're basically traveling filmmakers, which is, you know, a, a good experience for uh, young um, filmmakers like yourself that are not caught up in the syndicate of Hollywood and want to do more independent art. We do get to meet some students who want to be future filmmakers or actors and actresses, uh, music producers and so forth, who approach us and we usually network afterwards. Oh God, please don't hurt me, I'm a poor college student. Oh, I mean, I may grade hard, but I ain't gonna hurt you. All right, welcome everyone. This is Chemistry 1865, I'm Mr. Richard Brown. Creativity is a constant process. I mean, a creative mind is always creating. And basically, even with this tour, it's just something that basically we stumbled upon. Someone asked us one time and said, listen, would you want to do a workshop at a, a NAACP convention? And we did that. So basically, um, we said, fine, let's start, I start pitching to colleges. And also, like you said, this is another way of um, distribution because you're getting your film in front of people who otherwise would have never heard of it. And you're also increasing your fan base. When people see this, say, you know what? I remember those guys. So years later, when other projects are being made, they say, I remember that. I've decided I need more. More? More of a man. Computer Love is a story of Quay Reed, who after his engagement falls through, turns to the internet to meet women. It's actually based on a story that Mike came up with. Then I said, you know what, Mike? I can lend some authenticity to a man who's pretty much been on the internet meeting women from Maine to Virginia. <laughs> so pretty much, I can add some real stuff Maine. to it. Who are you? I want sexy Shonda. Child, you got my picture. No, 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 woman I'm supposed to be? She looks like this. See? on the inside. So we put up a script together and it was hilarious. I mean, people pretty much felt the script. Then we shot a promotional trailer, which people like to, in fact, people think a movie's always done when they watch it, but it's not done. It's actually a promotional trailer. So, but it's a comedy, romantic comedy, internet dating. We plan to shoot it this spring, which would be 2008. 
Mm. Are you serious? What? I gotta feed my baby. How you doing? Independent filmmaking and through technology has gotten a lot easier to do, and the quality of it is actually comparable to a lot of Hollywood big budget pictures. Um, you know, minus the special effects. But uh, realistically, people are kind of overpaying for Hollywood movies. Um, in Philadelphia, you have a really good chance to, to work outside the syndicate and actually produce film um, for a fraction of the cost and actually have talent and opportunity for uh, a lot more people. I look at Philadelphia as a place, definitely a place with a lot of talent, definitely a place where you can make things happen, and from there the sky's the limit. That's my philosophy. Damn! That sounds like talent to me.